You guys are probably sick of engineer videos now, but this is really the last one I promise. This is a different video on engineer placement guides, and it's, you must be going like, oh, god damn it, not another one. But it's going to be a smart video on meta placements, so let's just get really right through it. This is a really good spot on Viaduct Corner of Cliff because it protects your combo and your sniper on Cliff from being bombed and it hurts people on point and it's really, really hard to get rid of actually. The only way is pretty much from a sniper or from a soldier. Now, this is probably the best sentry sp placement I can think of on Viaduct. There's a couple of reasons for this. First of all, it covers your entire flank and your entire area. It covers concrete too. And people that have to, that want to go into you, that want to walk forward, have to peek your sentry like that. They're not really immediately exposed to it, and they just get destroyed by walking into it. This is a more passive type placement of sentry, and it's actually a really good one too when you're expecting enemy players to bomb you. This is really good when you're like playing a defensive, more passive style, and you want to bait people into your mini sentry. It's really, really effective. It also catches people behind you quite effectively if you're having trouble with that. This one on concrete is a little bit unique. It catches people coming through con con through concrete, but it also catches people maybe halfway through the point. It's pretty good when you're expecting people to jump on the point maybe at the last few seconds this one too similarly is really good when you're expecting them to jump on the point at the last few seconds this one is okay it shoots people when they're coming in through the main and through the rock but it's not the best sentry placement in the world since it can easily be sniped spammed out from a demo and from a soldier this one is really good too it's basically like the main one except to the left this means that people who are going to be coming from concrete side and coming from your rock into you are just going to get destroyed. And it's really hidden too from bombs, which is um, really, really good. This one is okay. It peaks people in main, but I wouldn't really recommend it that, that much. The only way I would recommend that sentry is if you're like forward holding. This is also an example of a forward holding sentry. It's not really that effective, but it's good if your team is being really aggressive with crits or something. This one too is okay. It catches people off guard, but people from cliff can snipe it out quite easily. So we're just going to talk about some really shit sentry spots now. Ones that I really often see from new, from new players who make mistakes. Now, if you put it too close like this, it can get easily spammed out by a demo, shot from cliff by a sniper, or even by a soldier. So don't place your minis too close. If you put it on point as well, something like that, uh, any player can come and destroy it, a scout, a pyro. Basically, what you want to do for your minis is not place them in, in sight so that people have to peek them to damage your team. For example, if they want to kill you, they have to peek your mini. That means they have to be shooting two players at once. And if you put them out in the open like this, they can single one or the other out like that. And that's what I mean about smart sentry placement. You want to make it so that the other players can't 2v1 you at all times. They always have to peek you and your mini sentry at once. Now let's talk about Upward. Now in this video, I'm just going to be talking about the two most popular lobby maps, which are Viaduct or Product, which is the pro version of Viaduct and Upward. Let's talk about Upward Defense first. I'm going to cover both Offense and Defense. Now, assuming you have one Engineer, which should happen in, in Highlander, this is the most popular spot for sentries. Dispensers can really vary. You can place it either by the health pack or either by this pillar here. I think it really doesn't make any difference. This one's a little bit safer because you can get more uh, ammo from it. I also see some sort of alternative style of sentry, which is really not popular, but I have seen this in Platinum before, where you can run like a sentry there, and this makes it so that people have to peek you from the cliffside on the left to be able to get your sentry. It's really effective. But basically, the point of the sentry is so that your combo plays forward, and that they have to uber either to take out your combo or either to take out your sentry. The point is so that they can't take out your combo and your sentry with the same uber. So you want to be wrangling them as they come up through these stairs here. Now that's where the thought process behind all these sentry spots comes from. You want to play smart and you don't want to let the other team destroy your team, kill all your players with one uber. So you want to make it so that they have to use their uber either for your sentry or either for your combo. You can also use the rescue ranger which is pretty much my favorite from relative safety here. Now let's, let's just get on to second here. There's two main sentry spots you want to put on second. There's like a forward hold where your team holds cliff. And you put your sentry here. It looks a little bit weird, but what it is, is it denies people coming up from under you. And what it mostly serves to is to, is to watch the flanks, which are from the left side of cliff, and to watch for bombers. Now, your team is really exposed to bombers by standing exactly where I am right now. And this makes it so that to be able to hit your team with bombs, they have to peak your sentry. And this will utterly destroy them. Now... There's also another spot that people put here. I've seen this run relatively often in Platinum games. People put their sentry here and then wrangle down the cart there to be able to take down maybe other players or snipers or, or combo players that want to go there. This is a little bit different because you're a little bit vulnerable from behind, but your team should be able to protect you. Now, the most common spot on upward second is this one, but it's not very good. A lot of people do this because it's... 
I think it's the most obvious. But the problem with this setup is that uh, an Uber can take down both your combo and your sentry. So you don't want to be like committing to your sentry too much here. So you mostly want to be playing back and rescue rangering it so that you don't want to commit to it and get ready to get out to the third point, which is a lot, a lot better hold. So we're just going to get into the third hold here. And there's a lot of reasons why this is the most toughest point to push an upward, mostly because it's one big sight line and a sentry can deny most flanks that come in. Now, this is a common sentry spot, although not one that I recommend too much because it can get spammed out pretty easily. And this one is also pretty vulnerable to getting your combo and your sentry killed with one uber. So that one is an okay, but I really don't recommend it. This, on the other hand, is probably the one of the best sentries that you can put up on upward here. Maybe a little bit more to the right because you don't want to get spammed out through main. But this watches through main, it watches through balcony, and it watches through cart really, really well. Now your combo would be playing a little bit either far forward on the balcony or far or a little bit backwards. Now this is probably a really good sentry too. This watches like the left side, which is called quote unquote shit house. Yes, that's an actual call. And it watches the cart, but it doesn't watch the uh, the main area. You can also rescue ranger this from relative safety, so you don't want to get caught when an Uber comes in. Now this next sentry spot seems a little bit weird for new players, but it's actually one of the best when used with the Wrangler. It's hard for anyone to kill you here, especially when your combo is going to be holding corner. And this is exactly like the first point. So basically, the enemy has to uber in really far back to be able to kill your combo. And then your combo runs away and then your sentry will just decimate them as they're running forward. The only thing that can really counter that is like a sniper, but even then you should have like a soul drawn card or something. Now for last, there's only really two spots that are good. And there's also this which I want to show. You can put this dispenser here and a spy can't climb on it and a spy can't reach you through this. That means that he has to sap the dispenser to be, able to be able to get up where you are and then when he does that you know he's coming. Now this is probably the best sentry spot on upward. Now there's a reason why people don't like the one over there on the right but I'll explain that later. This covers pretty much everything and it's also more far back. Now, for the same reason as I've always been saying, this sentry spot is really good because, number one, it's near the spawn. You can just walk in. And two, it's out of range of uh, getting destroyed by, a, by an uber at the same time as your combo. Which is why this spot is not that good. People can peek you from under and people can peek you from main and spam out maybe like 2-3 pills or 2-3 rockets and get it quite easily. An uber through main will just decimate your sentry there and there's really not much you can do from it because you're so close and also your combo should be covering the your sentry's weak spots anyway so that sentry is really bad this one i've seen as like a last stitch resort to shoot the cart but i uh i really wouldn't recommend this one so the only advantage to this one is that it can cover this left flanking and it can cover really much the the cart so let's now get into the upward offense we're going to be covering mostly like mini sentries because that's what you should be running now your job on upward offense should be annoying the enemies at long range. I like to run the Wrangler, but it's not everyone's cup of cake. So if you don't like it, that's fine. You can get into a little bit close range, but I'm just going to show the Wrangler here to show like the sentry spots. This one is really good if you just run out the gate and put it because sometimes you can catch out an overly aggressive combo. This one is really good too if you can actually get here because it can shoot their combo on stairs at the same time that your combo is walking through. And this one is okay when you're when you're planning on moving some important players through this right flank here and you're expecting a bomb. Similarly, this one too. And also this one can shoot people that are on stairs over there, which is pretty common. It can also cover like this area where most people like to peek. So it has like a very wide range. This is probably one of the best mains that you can put on first, by the way. Now, if you're attacking here, your combo Uber is in or whatever, this is a super good mini because you can just rain down hell onto them like this. And it's very, very difficult for them to kill you outside of a sniper or them get really getting into your face. And if they do that, your heavy should be there backing you up to be able to kill them. So I really recommend that mini when you're attacking. So let's now let's go on the second. Let's see you guys just cap first. Now you're with your team here and you want to go on the second. Their team is, for instance, holding a little bit more far back here and you're expecting them to come in for an uber force or something. This mini sentry is really good. It's out of sight. It can catch bombers like that. And this is honestly one of the best minis that you can put on second. It catches people who get really overly aggressive, which is quite often actually as far as I see in lobbies. There's also that one. It's not really that good it catches people and it prevents people mostly from peeking you it prevents like demos from peeking you this one is probably the ultimate passive mini when you're preparing for like an uber push or something it catches people from the left house there and it, ca and it covers all your flanks so it covers all three flanks here and um it's really difficult for people to get the jump on you when you have that mini sentry there this is like it covers all your bases 
Now, if you're attacking here, you're Ubering in, this mini sentry is really good because it stops people from peeking you too aggressively. You can push this position there, position this one there, or you can move a little bit to the corner here. I think this is also all right. It really depends on how far you want to peek the enemies, but if you have to keep in mind that if you put it a little bit more on the corner there, it's probably going to get sniped. There's another alternative path that you can take here. For instance, if you're taking through cliff, your combo is Ubering through window or whatever. You can put down your sentry here and you're pretty much out of range of the sentry and people are going to be really far back. The only weakness to this, to this is if a scout or soldier catches you to your right, which could happen, but it's pretty rare. Now this pretty much covers it for seconds, so we're going to head on to third. And because of the map limitations here, we're just going to have to go around these doors. But what I like to do is put a mini on the balcony here. I think it's pretty effective. But I'll show you some pretty much really good offensive minis that you can put on the other side here. So if your team is pushing cart and you want to get to this corner here, this mini is really good because it prevents like a heavy or a demo mostly from peeking that balcony up there. And it also prevents people from coming around on track. This is probably a little bit better because you can wrangle it and it's probably a little bit more out of range, but this is a really, really good mini. It also prevents soldiers from peeking you from the balcony above. This is a more aggro one and a little bit more risky one because it can probably get sniped from a sniper, but if your team is aggressing, this is really good to catch people who are trying to like counter bomb into your team mostly. There's also a high chance that since this point is hard to push, you're going to be confined to cart duty. So that means you can jump and put up minis like that to annoy the enemies. But I like to play passive minis, and I, I also like to put jump and They're a little bit hard to put, but I like to put minis like that. Maybe just to serve it as a distraction. doesn't mean they're going to get any damage or any kills, but it, dis it distracts the enemies from really just shooting you. Also, you get your metal back from pushing cart. This is really good too when you reach the top and like they have a really far setup and your team is already around the corner. This is really annoying for them and it forces them to retreat even more than they would have before. Now assuming you just took third, this is a pretty good mini sentry too because it covers all your bases. There's really no way that anyone can flank you here and it's really really annoying for people to peek you like that, especially like a scout coming in for a quick flank or something, normally they get destroyed. This is really the best sentry that I can think of when pushing last. There's a lot of reasons for this too. Pretty much nobody can kill it except by peeking it directly and it destroys people who want to take the quick access route under you to the upper area. Once you have the upper area, which you should be doing, there's a couple of mini here that are pretty self-explanatory and that are actually really good. You can put it close there, but it's probably going to get spammed out. And if you want to spam out their sentry out of range, this is going to be really annoying for their engineer or for their sniper who's probably going to be up there too. There's also another alternative sentry, which is a little bit less unsafe, but you can take it from uh, this spiral staircase here and you can put a sentry around here. And this is going to annoy people who are pretty much trying to block the cart. And this is really good when you're actually the card is really edged and you want to jump onto it like through that window or whatever and that just kills people who are trying to kill you. The sentry is really risky you can probably get killed by a sentry or killed by a sniper but it annoys their NG a lot although he probably has a level 3 and can out wrangle you so you got to be careful and I believe that pretty much covers it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy and uh, that's going to be it for engineer for a while. I think we covered a lot that we needed to cover and I hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you liked it um, thank you for liking friends and I'll see you guys next time I'm probably going to be doing either demo or sniper next. I'm not so sure. I think a lot of people have been asking for a demo, so I'll probably be, do be doing demo since it's probably one of the most important classes. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.